The Berenstein Bears Mad, Mad, Mad Toy Craze by Stan and Jan Berenstein. We have berry bubbies. When little bears want the same toys as their friends, they may hook into a craze that just never ends. It was a calm and peaceful afternoon in bear country. It was calm and peaceful outside the bear family's treehouse, where the tulips were blooming and the grass was growing. It was calm and peaceful inside the treehouse, where Papa Bear was reading the afternoon paper and Mama Bear was checking out the TV schedule. But it was all over for peace and calm when brother and sister came tearing home. They rushed up the front steps and burst into the living room, all excited and so out of breath they could hardly talk. Mama! Papa! They gasped. We need it! We, we gotta have it! We absolutely gotta! Now hold everything, said Papa. Just calm down and tell me what it is that you need and absolutely gotta have. An advance, sputtered brother. That's right, gasped sister. An advance on our allowance. And if we don't get it, Herb's hobby shop is gonna run out. Going to run out of what? asked Papa. Why, berry bubbies, of course, said sister. And what, <clears throat> what may I ask, <clears throat> are boony berries, booby bubbies, whatever that was you said, asked Papa. Berry bubbies, Papa, said brother. They're terrific, they're great, they're fabulous. And they're cute and adorable, said sister. And each one is different and each one has its own name. Cousin Fred already has six of them, said brother. Lizzie has eight and Queenie has ten. Well, said Papa, reaching for his wallet and taking out some money, far be it from me to deprive my cubs of booby berries. The money and the cubs disappeared so fast you'd have to thought it was a magic act. Well, said a bewildered Papa, what do you suppose that was about? Come to think of it, said Mama, I did see a sign on Herb's hobby shop window. It said, we have berry bubbies, two ninety five. I didn't, didn't think much about it, but I suppose that's what the cubs are talking about. Talking about is putting it mildly, said Papa. They were flipping out about it. They were through the roof about it. He sighed. It's just amazing to me, he said as he went back to his paper, how otherwise sen sensible cubs can get pulled into s any silly thing that comes along. I suppose, said Mama, as she went back to the TV schedule. The cubs ran all the way to Herb's hobby shop, holding their precious berry bubby money in their hot little hands. And lucky cubs that they were, they got there in time to buy the last three berry bubbies in the store. When do you expect more? asked brother. Can't say, said Herb. I can't even get them on the phone. It's busy 24 hours a day. Though it was true that Cousin Fred had six, Lizzie had eight, and Queenie had ten berry bubbies, while brother and sister only had three. The ones they had were really cute. Each one was different from the other, and each one had its very own name. Harry Harry, Ziggy Zippo, Dimple Darling. Back home, sister said, we'd like to introduce our berry bubbies. This one is named Ziggy Zippo. This one is named Dimple Darling. And this one is named Harry Harry, said brother. Hmm, said Papa as they all sat down to dinner. They are kind of cute, said Mama. The next day, the cubs came to Papa with a proposition. We won't ask for any more advances on our allowance if you'll hire us to do chores, said brother. What are you going to do with the money you earn, asked Papa. Buy more berry bubbies, of course, said sister. But you said Herb's hobby shop is out of them and can't get more, said Papa. That's right, said Brother, but Lizzie has two of a kind and she's willing to sell one for five dollars. So does Queenie, said Sister, only she wants seven dollars. Hey, said Papa, I thought they were just two ninety-five at Herb's hobby shop. That's right, said Sister, only Herb's all out. Hmm, said Papa, buying and selling berry bobbies is beginning to sound like a pretty good business. Speaking of business, said Mama, here's a piece in the paper about a fellow who bought a whole bunch of berry bubbies before they became popular. It says here that he just sold his entire collection for a fortune. Let me see that, said Papa, snatching the paper. 
Papa, said Brother, about those chores? For the next couple of days, Brother and Sister pulled weeds, sorted trash, and cleaned out cobwebs like there was no tomorrow. Of course, there were more tomorrows, lots of them, and Brother and Sister were determined to spend them figuring out ways to get more berry bubbies. Just listen to this, said Papa, reading from a berry bubbies magazine he had found at the supermarket. A rare berry bubby was sold in Bearville for hundreds of dollars. Did you hear that? Hundreds of dollars. That's when brother and sister burst in with the berry bubbies they had bought with their chore money. Papa, cried brother, we heard a rumor that the Toys Is Us store in Big Bear City just got a shipment of berry bubbies. A huge shipment, cried sister. Jump in the car, cried Papa. But Big Bear City is 20 miles away, said Mama, following them out the door. By the time Mama finished her sentence, Pop and the cubs were off in a cloud of dust. Look, a sky rider, cried Sister as they roared along the road to Big Bear City. What does it say? asked Papa. It says, bury bubbies forever, said Brother. We'd better hurry, cried Papa, flooring the gas pedal, or Toys is Us it might run out. The rumor about Toys is Us turned out to be true. A huge banner said, We have berry bubbies, five dollars. It looked like a big berry bubby party. Only it was more like a big aggravation. The lines wound around the store, babies were crying, and two daddies got into a shoving match about a place in line and had to be taken away by the police. But the cubs got their berry bubbies. In fact, they headed home up to their necks in them. Of course, not many things are forever, and berry bubbies certainly weren't. Pretty soon, berry bubbies were everywhere. They came in crinkly, crumble cereal boxes. You could get them at the gas station with the fill-up. You could get them with a crazy meal at the Burger Bear. After a while, just about everybody in bear country had so many berry bubbies that they didn't know what to do with them. There wasn't much you could do with them in the first place. You couldn't play dolly with them the way you could with a good doll. You couldn't play choo-choo with them the way you could with a toy train. You couldn't play baseball with them the way you could with a bat and ball. All you could do was look at them, except they had a way of looking back at you and making you think about all the money you had spent on them. The only thing you really could do with them is brag about how many you had. I have 24 berry bummies. I have 32 berry bubbies. I have 48 berry bubbies. I have 94 berry bubbies. And no matter how many you had, there was always somebody who had more. I have 4,202. Now, what do you suppose that was all about? I really don't know. <laughs>